Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Savannah. If you are new here and today we are filming our legacy challenge. I'm very excited to film videos again. I had to take a break for health reasons and I also was traveling a little bit, which was awesome. Yeah, if you want to follow me on Instagram, I pretty much post all my updates there and I also still um, stream on Twitch. On Twitch lately, we have been working on the legacy save file. Um, we did a stream where we gave Edison and Evangeline their outfits and then we did another stream and we built their bedrooms and their like little guest house hut thing. <laughs> so I can't wait to show you guys here how they look and what their um, what their little house looks like. I'm very satisfied with how it turned out. Um, but yeah, in the last episode, we aged them up into teens and I'm just really excited to just play with them as teens. I think it's gonna be very interesting. But yeah, this is going to be a good episode, so get cozy. I do have a Celsius today. I have a Celsius and I mixed it with um, orange juice. It's a peach vibe with a splash of orange juice and it's so delicious and so refreshing and I look forward to having it every morning. <laughs> I still can't believe after all these years I'm still drinking Celsius's. I, I thought I would be sick of them by now, but I definitely am not. <laughs> so cheers guys, cheers to you, cheers to this video. I'm so excited to hang out with you guys today and just play some Sims. Let's get into it. All right guys, here we are in Cass. I just wanted to show you Ren really quick because we did give her a new hair. She had that like short wavy bob before. I liked it, but I kind of want to experiment with some more hairs. Nothing really hits like her old hair, like that very long, like auburn um, wavy one. So yeah, we're just gonna give this hair a whirl, see how we feel in gameplay. I also gave Zoe a elder makeover. So let me go to her everyday fit here. She's she's an elder now, which is insane. Time flies so freaking fast in this game, I swear. But she's still so, so, so cute. But she definitely looks her age now, which I, I, I like very much. Here's her formal wear, so fancy. Here's her uh, athletic wear, here's her sleep wear. Her her party wear, her swim, her hot weather, and her cold weather. This outfit is a lot different than the other ones because someone in my stream helped me pick pick it out. They wanted like bright neon colors for Zoe's cold weather outfit, so we went with that. Uh, all right, let's go with Evangeline here. So. I believe that they both got the admired icon aspiration for their teen aspiration. I mistakenly gave them gave them their adult aspirations in the last one, but I changed them. And uh, in case you guys forgot, they both, Edison and Evangeline, both have the same aspiration and the same traits, which honestly is kind of crazy to me. I'm sorry if you can hear my mom chopping vegetables in the kitchen. <laughs> you can hear everything in this house. Okay, so everyday fits. Here is Evangeline's first fit. Here's her second one. We ended up going with the more like out there outfits. I used a lot of CC that I don't normally use, which is kind of cool. I just imagine she's just very into fashion and like wearing different kinds of things. And this outfit though, oh my goodness, it makes me so happy. <laughs> Speaking, okay, so these shoes are from the creator Jus, J-I-U-S. If you guys haven't downloaded shoes from this creator yet, you have to. There's such good quality and there's such a wide variety and just very like, trendy. I could not recommend them more. So go and download every single one of their shoes, okay? This is not sponsored. I don't see how it would be sponsored, but it's not. I just really like this creator. <laughs> All right, here is her fourth outfit. This is so cute. And fifth. Oh my god. Like, mwah. these shoes are crazy, but whatever. I think she rocks them. <laughs> uh, here is her formal wear. Here is her athletic wear, super comfy. Oh my God, this, ooh, this monochromatic just makes me so happy. Uh, here's her sleep, uh, her party wear, so cute, pink and green. Here is her, um, wait, what? Why do you have four part? Oh my God, we really went overboard with outfits for her, didn't we? We gave her four party wear outfits. Oh my gosh, she has the flame, flame boots with the flame makeup. I mean, come on. Like I got to use so much of my fun CC, it was so cool. Uh, here is her other one. Oh my god, so cute. These shoes. Love this one as well. <gasps> so cute. <laughs> Here's her swimwear. Here's her hot weather. Oh, she's got two hot weathers. This one and this one. Oh my god, are you kidding me? It's like I, 
I did this like a week ago and I'm just like seeing them now again and I'm like obsessed. Uh, and then here's her cold weather fits. This is really cute. I love these loafers. Also these heart patch pants. I need these in my life, like in real life. And then Edison, I think for Edison, we decided that he was going to be, I honestly don't know. We were, we were discussing the possibility of making him like really shy. And then we were also discussing the possibility of making him like a terrible person. Um, but I guess I need to play with him a little bit more just to see which one suits him best. But this is the outfit inspiration that I went with. Here's his second one. Here is his formal wear, his athletic wear, his sleep, his party. A little bit fratty. But also a little bit like skater. I don't. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I couldn't decide. So I just meshed a bunch of styles together. And uh, yeah, I think as time goes on, we'll figure out like a more solid style for him. Here's a swim. Um, his hot weather and his cold weather. I love how the freckles are like all over. I think that's really cute. But yeah, same traits, same aspiration as his sister. Uh, we didn't do anything to Lamar because I think we recently gave him his elder makeover. So yeah, that is it. That is all the family updates. Now let me show you guys their little guest hut. I use the new pastel kit that Plumbella helped with for Evangeline's room. It's so cute. And then um, for Edison's room, it's really cool. It's very like, um, it's very, uh, neat and put together um we focused a lot on like him having a large desk for gaming and for like academic stuff because i'm pretty sure his adult aspiration was academic right oh yeah and evangeline's was strangerville oh <laughs> okay i definitely need to fix the pathway because we did move the door but heading i didn't change anything in the outside except for moving the door so you walk in, you got a fireplace, this like pretty cool accent wall thing here. Um, here is their living space. Pretty cute, pretty cute little record player, just a TV. Um, and then through here we have Evangeline's room. Like I said, I used a lot of this stuff from the pastel, I think it's called pastel pop, right? That kit. Um, I, I put these like posters on top of a mirror. I absolutely love the way that this looks. Uh, just a lot of like cute colors things colors colors things what no there's our glasses there we've got some nail polish this cute little like mood lamp thing over here we just got a mirror some plants and a nice closet for all of her uh for all of her cute clothes and stuff and then through here they have like a jack and jill bathroom i definitely want to decorate this more um I love this like glass open door like shower situation. It's very plain in here, so I do want to spruce it up a bit, make it look a little bit more messy because it is a uh, bathroom for two teens. <laughs> Through here we have Edison's room. Super cute. We went with more a more muted color palette for him. A lot of books everywhere. Uh, I love this item. I believe this is a Pierre Sim CC item. His closet was supposed to be right here, but for some reason it disappeared, so I need to replace it. But this is what I was talking about um, with the gaming desk and the academic desk. So here he can game it, and then here he can like slide his chair over to like do homework and read and study and do all that stuff. So yeah, and then through here is just the living room once again. Uh, oops. <laughs> There's some uh, adjustments I need to do, but y'all get the gist of it. All right, y'all, here we are back in the house. Hello, everybody. <laughs> D, looks like Evangeline and Eddie are just chilling. Uh, Eddie's having a crisis. Evangeline, do we dancing? Uh, let's throw that away. Okay, so let's look at the calendar, shall we? It's a very um cloudy fall day. Oh, it's actually the last day of fall. Okay, okay, so winter, winter is coming. Winter do be coming. It doesn't look like we have anything coming up. The Starlight Accolades are tomorrow. We could probably go to that just to see if we'll win anything because it's so random. Even if it doesn't tell you that you're nominated, you could potentially win, which is weird. But yeah, nothing up until Tuesday, which is uh, Winterfest and then Winterfest Eve, I mean, and then Winterfest. Okay, so not really sure that i want to go to high school with them i like it it's cool sometimes but most of the time it's just way too hard to keep their grades up if you do go with them so 
yeah. I don't know. Let's have a look at their aspirations. I don't even think I've done this one before. Make 10 friends. Post on Social Bunny. So they all really, really... Why are you hysterical? No! Um... Do some yoga, like holy cannoli. Yeah, they they both want to be popular apparently. List five outfits on Trendy. Oh my god, have 250 followers on social... Okay, so they both want to be extremely popular. Okay, well, this should be interesting, huh? <laughs> also, Lamar, how many days do you have left, my dude? Okay, you got a good... Oh my god, he has the fear of death. That's actually really, really sad. Um, so for your aspiration, is it close to being done? Have 20 friends, have 12 friends. I don't know if we're gonna get that. Also, like, reach level 10 charisma? Yeah, no, we're definitely not getting that. That's fine. Working on Renaissance Sim for Ren. Also, which skill were you working on? Juice Fizzing. We've almost maxed it, right? Juice Fizzing is only a fiver. Okay. All right, well... Um, right, I want to max her robotic skill though because she's so close. Um, but I'm not going to be like focusing too much on them because it, their time, their time has come. You feel me? <laughs> okay, she's got work in four hours, but uh, let's go ahead and get you to donate to fan. No, tinker. Let's just do some tinkering. You have work in three days, Lamar. Oh my goodness, you have a lot of time, but let's just practice your programming then. All right, Evangeline has started doing some yoga and she's feeling happy now not hysterical which is good so do they they have it's a saturday okay hmm what shall we do what shall we do repair you're gonna go repair that broken toilet like autonomously that's interesting i ain't gonna stop you but that's interesting all right so they need social bunny profiles because they want they need that for their aspiration. So how do I do this again? <laughs> Social bunny. Um, open. I guess we can... New post. Energize narrative. Post about going on vacation. Oh yeah, they did go on vacation, didn't they? Add contact list. <gasps> hmm. Let's add Manami. Let's add... Wilson, yeah, I think he's our... Wilson is our... Cousin? Yes. Evangeline, um, Emery, is she a teen? Well, I guess we'll find out. All right, Evangeline, let's do the same for you, shall we? Oh, how come you have more people than Edison does? Interesting. Rotheo is on there, let's get Manami on there. I don't know, are you guys teens? I guess we'll find out. Wow, this is very relaxing. Jazz and yoga, love that for you. <laughs> Okay, Zoe finally mastered her robotics skill. Oh my god. You can stop now. Lamar, you are... Why are you in here? This is not your room! And I told you to practice programming in the house! Do I need to lock the door for everyone but... Oh man, these sims. I love this challenge, but at the same time, it's just a lot. It's just a big house. It's a big lot. It's a lot of sims. <laughs> Alright, Evangeline, how's your mood? It's pretty good, you know? It's pretty good. I think that you and Edison should go out. I think we should get a move on making 10 teen friends because, oh, they both need it. Maybe we'll see uh, Teddy out, hopefully. Should we go to Copperdale? They're rich, so they can, like, sell so many things on Trendy because they can just buy unlimited outfits. Let's go get some boba. Let's go get some boba and see who we can see. See, see who we can find. <laughs> Looks like Elizabeth aged up into a child. That's exciting. Also, if you guys want to see the updated Legacy Family Tree, it will be linked below. Um, it has all the information on there about every single sim that was in the family up until now. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool to see it all. I also tried to write like little bios and give everyone middle names as well, just for some fun. All right, here we are. Who do we got? Oh man, adult. Okay, thrift store owner. I think we should probably get to know her. Let's just give uh, a friendly introduction. And you as well, Edison. Also, how many aspiration points do you guys have? A lot. I think because you both, you both maxed, or you both did your aspiration. So I think what we're gonna do is get them the incredibly friendly. I think that will really help with making friends because when you have incredibly friendly, you can hit Sims with a nice introduction and that like sends the green bar like way high right away. 
So I think it's a good, it's a good use of the reward points. Also, so now that I'm thinking about it and looking at the aspiration, I don't think that Edison being shy will be a good idea if he wants to do all this kind of stuff. So I think he might just be like kind of a, kind of a poop head. <laughs> maybe a little bit of a player, like maybe like a secret player, not like so obvious, but kind of just like low key kind of sh Yeah, I guess we'll, we'll see how, how we go. All right, you introduce yourself, fantastic. Let's just ask her about her day, enthuse about new show. Um, just get that, get that up a little bit, you know, get it up. And we'll just wait for some teens to show up. Art lover, well that's cute. Oh, Zoe's off to work. Okay, work hard. She's already doing that. A hack is to take a photo with them. It really, really, really raises the uh, relationship bar very fast. So go ahead and do that. Like, hey girl, let's take a photo. Let me tell everyone on Social Bunny how what an incredible owner you are. Boom, good friends. Hanji. Oh look, Edison's browsing. Oh, her hair. <laughs> I wonder why there's no teens here. Is this not a teen hotspot or whatever? So basically, if you guys aren't familiar with the trendy thing, it's basically like you buy clothes at the thrift store and then you like resell it on trendy. And you like see, you have to ask the, the store owner like what fashion trends are hot right now. And so that's the kind of like outfit that you wanna buy and sell because there's more hype around it. And they want to do that for their aspirations, so we need to get to know this lady. Otherwise, she won't give us the inside scoop, you know? This lady is double fisting her boba. Oh my god, that sounded so bad. <laughs> uh, she has two bobas. All right, good friends, let's go. Beautiful, love it. So, they do not... It's for the next uh, branch of our aspiration to list five outfits on Trendy. So I'm going to wait until we're at this branch because I don't know if it's going to count if we do it prior. So yeah, we just need to keep posting on Social Bunny and all that good stuff. <coughs> Where are all the teens? This is crazy. Let's go Starbucks. Let's go to Starbucks. See what's popping over there. And it's raining. Oh well. It is fine. Okay. Who do we got? Anyone? Any teens? Any teens at all? Adults? Adults? Adults, come on! Hey, we have a little bit of fame. That's kind of cool. Oh my god, you guys, Gia. Oh, is this Bellamy or Bailey's baby mama? I can't remember, but she's freaking pregnant again. With who? Oh, that's right. She is married. Okay. Dang. It's Hayden Bowie. Who is this again? This is someone, this is someone's husband, but I can't freaking remember. <laughs> oh my God, look, it's Elliot Dew from my Stardew characters. Oh my God, I'm about to like turn him into a teen. Oh my God, he's married. Shoot, what happens if I turn him into a teen? Does that make him not married? Oh, and he disappeared. Okay, well that's great. Never mind then. Adults, 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 adults. Oh, hey Bruce. Adults, oh my god, proper celeb, sheeps. No spouse, no children. I love how everyone is on their freaking computers like a real Starbucks. That's so cute. Oh, Manami's here. Oh, there you are. Okay, and he's a teen, perfect. Oh my god, Evangeline's already talking to him. Girl, what? Where? How did you get drunk? What the heck, when were you drinking? This is a Starbucks. Where did you get alcohol? Her and Elliot already have such a good relationship. She's already made a friend. Good for you. Also, introduce yourself to Hayden. I'm pretty sure he's family. So you should probably have a relationship with him. Who's this? Oh my God, is this Abigail from Stardew as well? She's pregnant, congratulations. I wonder who she's having a baby with. I'm so nosy. She already has a kid. Roland Bear. Hmm, never heard of him. I still want to know where she got alcohol from. Like, what? This is a Starbucks, not a bar. <gasps> There's another teen right here. What's your name? What's your name? What's your name? Juliana. Juliana. Okay, Edison, it's time for you to make a friend. Hey! Sula Sula! Sula Sula! 
Hey, what a bro. All right, 7.30, let's head home. They have both made two teen friends today, which is great. Super stoked that some um, actually showed up. Oh my God, look, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's Freddy. It's, um, um, the girl's dad that we're trying to get Edison with. Oh my gosh. Uh, it's Teddy's dad. Does that mean Teddy is here? No, she's not. Would have been too good to be true, eh? Hey, Emily, didn't anyone tell you that opening a freaking umbrella inside is bad luck? Also, you know what's kind of crazy? Evangeline and Edison are both aren't spellcasters. And apparently it's like a 50-50 chance if you, one of your parents is a spellcaster and one of them isn't. And they both did not inherit the spellcaster gene. Oops, sorry. I accidentally pressed a button. It's crazy because they both have a strong bloodline too. It says it on the, in their like little bio thing. I was like convinced that we were gonna have spellcasters for the rest of the challenge. I was convinced. Oh, we got some potions, nice. Okay, Evangeline, you are drunk. I'm gonna get you to sleep it off, please. What's Edison doing? I'm not really, I still, I still don't know where she got alcohol, but I don't want anyone to know that she's drunk, so go and hide from your mother. Get it, girl? Hey, Ren got promoted to professional pianist. Good for you, girl, good for you, so stoked. We got an antique piano, a cash bonus. Okay, fantastic. What level are you now? Level seven, okay. Let's collect this juice we made. I can't believe we have $6 million. What? Like, where did that even come from? Yay, we maxed the juicing skill. <laughs> nice, on to the next. Um, entrepreneur, I guess we can do that one because we know that that's a fiver. But the entrepreneur skill, what do we do for that again? Oh, I think we needed like a celebr a celebrity, um, not a celebrity, a streaming computer. Sir Isaac, how you doing? Little elder baby. Want to plop down on the couch? I'm really liking this hair on Ren, not gonna lie. Grab. <laughs> Look who's here! Estella! Discuss fears with the ghost. Oh, hi. I almost called her mom. Nope, definitely not mom. Okay, Ren decided that she wanted to craft a bot all on her own. So I guess the next skill we're doing is robotics. Oh, good morning. How are ya? You nice and hungover? Seems like it. Dang it, these sinks don't work. That's a bummer, they're so cute. All right, guys, get over here. Brush your teeth, wash your face, drink some water. Apologize? What did you do? You guys, you guys need to have a good relationship. What did you do to him? Oh. <laughs> it looks like Evangeline has knows a couple of teens, Angie and Emery, and Luz and Rothio is a teen as well. So perhaps we can all go do something today and she can like, you know, up those relationships so that they can all become friends for her aspiration. Oh my God, she's gonna go have a drink again. Do you have a problem? I don't want you to have that. Okay. So Evangeline might have a bit of an addictive personality. Need to keep an eye on that. <sighs> Let's take a thoughtful shower. Ren, why don't you come out here and tend the garden, yeah? This is cute. I'm a fan. Get off your phone, sir. Oh, it looks like Elliot wants to be Edison's best friend already. Hmm. I mean, sure, why not? Why not, you know? I know we just met Esther. Oh my God, he's hysterical. Okay. Um. Oh, he's here. He just showed up. Oh my God. Um, Elliot wants to go to prom with Evangeline. Okay. Yeah, we could go. We could go. We could go. You are my boy, my brother's best friend, though, which is a little bit, a little bit questionable. That's okay. It's early. It's early. It's early. 
mess around already. Oh my god, no. But let's um let's go all go out and do something. Looks like they're having a movie night with popcorn and a fire in the snow for some reason. I wanted them to do this during the summer, but no. They had to wait for when it was snowing. Ooh! Teen arcade and bowling. Perfect. Let's bring Emery, let's bring Aubrey, Elliot, um, or Theo, Angie, Luz, Devin. Oh shoot, I can't. Uh, that's fine. I have a feeling that Evan and Eddie are going to get a lot of um, best friend proposals. <laughs> I wish you could turn that off. Can you turn that off? Do you guys know? If you can, please let me know in the comments because whenever you like, um, Whenever you turn someone down, when they ask you if you want to be best friends, it like ruins the relationship and I'm not trying to have that happen. Okay, here we are. Hello. Hi. 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 I'm gonna have to give all of these teams makeovers for sure. But, um, let's just like get to know, get to know all these peeps. For Theo, of course. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What is going on right now? There is so much happening. That Sim is irresistible. Edison has a major crush on Juliana. Interesting. Okay. Guess we're gonna have to give her a makeover, eh, guys? <laughs> I'm just working on getting him to have some friends. Okay, we need to work on becoming friends with Rotheo. Evangeline, no, why are you sleeping? Okay, Juliana is now asking Edison to prom. Okay, so they both have prom dates already. This is insane. Why are they all chilling in the bathroom? Can we talk about this sim right here, real quick? It's a real life leprechaun, guys. Why are you shirtless in the winter, sir? Why? Well, um, I have been working on their relationships this whole time, just like chatting away, and it seems like they are friends with a lot of people now. Yeah, nine teen friends, and then Evangeline has seven. So it looks like um, Edison is a little bit more likable than Evangeline is, but you know what? That's okay. Maybe they are intimidated by her. I'm not really sure why Manami is wearing that. And it looks like they're very tired, so let's go ahead and head home. But I just wanted to like make some friends, some solid friends, and um, yeah, just work on that aspiration a bit. Ooh, shwaddy do. So now, when they go to school tomorrow, they will already have a bunch of friends. So on my Twitch channel, I started a challenge. It's called the Career Legacy Challenge. It was created by Rochella. She's a streamer, and she also has a YouTube channel. Um, but basically what it is is every gen you focus on like a different career and you go in like alphabetical order You roll the number between one and six for how many kids you have to have in that generation And then there's like optional side quests as well. It's really fun. Gen 1 is an actor So we are we are playing with a male sim and he is He's a lot it's a very, very spicy, uh, <laughs> spicy generation right now. So if you guys want to watch, I'm usually live Tuesday, Thursday, Fridays, and it's a hoot. It's a hoot. I'll, I might, um, upload it over here on YouTube as well, but yeah, it's just so much fun, like, watching it live and, like, putting in your input and stuff. All right, we're back home. Let's get you some food. Go to sleep. We got a big day of school tomorrow. First day of high school. Did I hear someone just go through a phase? I don't see no phase. Why did I hear the sound? Oh, it's because she's enraged. Oh my gosh, she's having a mood swing. Okay, she's just listening to loud music. No. No, no, no. I'm down with classical, my love. Oh my god, these teens are terrible. Just eat your onigiri and wind down with classical, okay? Oh no, Sir Isaac is sick. You poor baby. Do I have any wellness treats? Swamp water taffy? Does anyone have any wellness treats? I could have sworn we went and got some. All right, we're back. Here, have a treat. Feel better. My game is being so slow. It's 100% the save file. I think I need to like reduce the number of sims in it. <laughs> All better. All right. What are you doing? What are you doing up? Go to bed. My god, these freaking teens are gonna be the death of me. What are you doing? Give yourself a pep talk. Bro, you need to go to sleep too. And why are you going around this way? Does this door not work? I need to watch you guys, huh? Or else you're just gonna get up again. Okay, first day of school. Select which students to follow or send all students alone. Hmm. I think I might send them alone until they're A students, and then once they hit A students, I'm going to 
go with them so I don't have to worry about their grades, you know? Oh my gosh, you guys, look, Manami is asking Ren if she should have another baby. Because her and Bellamy, oh yeah, her and Bellamy had one. <gasps> I hope it's going to be with Bellamy again. They live together. Yes, try for that baby, absolutely. Cute. Cute, 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 cute. Maybe we should go over there. Maybe we should pay them a visit. What do you think, Ren? When do you have work? Three hours? Shoot. What about you, Zoe? Are you free? True days. Yeah, you're definitely free. Okay, working on that mixology skill. Why do my sims love to drink? I mean, I get it, but like, sheesh. Life do be hard. With his business steadily growing, Lamar finds himself thinking about the future. In particular, what would happen should an apocalyptic event befall the town? Zombie outbreak, rogue meteor strike, any number of calamities potentially awaits, but there's hope. A questionably practical but exceedingly eccentric idea comes to Lamar's mind. What about purchasing his very own private island that he could escape to in the off chance that a disaster occurs? Buy private island, he will gain fame, lose reputation, and pay a large sum of money. Resist or to become a prepper. I mean, we have six million dollars. I guess we could afford it. But like, can we visit it? <laughs> I don't know. I don't think Lamar cares. He's old. He's probably like, I'm gonna die soon anyway. So resist urge. Let's just resist that urge, okay? All right, let's go ahead and pay the bills and then go give Bellamy a visit and your, your cute um, grandchild. Pay the bills, you pay my telephone bills, you pay my automobiles. I don't think you do, so don't fucking tell me what to do, bitch. <laughs> All right, let's just have a travel. Where do they live again? I think it was Mount Komarebi. Okay, here we are, here we are, here we are, here we are. Hello, my son, how are you? Oh my god, make joke about marriage, hug. Anyway, hello Emery, you have aged up. You are, where are you going? Why are you in your bathing suit? We don't have a pool. Are you, where are you going in your bathing suit? It's so pretty here, oh my god. How come I don't play in Mount Kamarebi more, guys? Come on, come introduce yourself to your grandson. Hello. There I go again, accidentally pressing travel. Oh my God. Oh, she's so happy. How cute, guys. We should make a grandkids club with her, Lamar, and the grandkids and they can like go out and do cute stuff. Hello. Well, good to see everything's in order over here. I guess we should go check on some of the other grandkids, huh? Who else we got? Yeah, let's head over here. Let's head over to Bailey. Hello! Secret handshake? You guys have a secret handshake? That's it? Oh. Cute. I love them. Uh, Nicole. That's right, that's right, that's right. Okay, hello, hi. And hi, you guys. Hi, Marnie. Hi, Rothio. Good to see y'all. Come on, introduce yourself to your freaking grandchild. Why you got eyes like that? Are you a cult? Oh my god, I think she might be. Oh, hey look, Bellamy came with us. Just have yourself a potion of plentiful needs. It will fix everything. Let's get some hot cocoa. Love spending this day with Miss Zoe. <laughs> Thank you. You're just gonna leave it here? What the? Okay. She's so cute. She's just this like super famous writer oh, sitting in the park having hot chocolate. I love it. Should we light this trash can on fire for some fun? I'm kidding. No, let's not. All right, who's next? Is someone taking pictures of us? Oh Lord. Oh yeah, let's go. Let's go. Uh, let's go visit Ophelia as well. She has a kid. Hello, my love. Where's your child? There she is. Do we already know her? We don't. Hi, cutie. You having some chips? How was school today? 
teach about responsibility. That's grilled cheese. Cute. I really value the time we spend together. Oh my god. <laughs> what other grandchildren does she have? Oh! It's Hayden is Leslie's husband. Right. I think that they might live in Solani. Maybe we should go over there. They have a kid. But who is this dude? Cliff? I... He's a teen. Can you come over here really quick? Uh, just for just for research. Oh, he's here. He came in the back door. Okay. Um, let me have a look at you, sir. Wait, come back. He's really cute. Should we get Evangeline over here? Oh my God, you need you need you need to shower like now. Elliot's calling. A sleepover? It's Monday. No, I can't. Actually, Zoe, why don't you give her a potion? What am I doing? Why am I like working on freaking needs when I don't even need to do that? <laughs> All right, drink one of these. <laughs> Introduce yourself to Cliff here. He's really cute. Cliff Foreigner? Wasn't that like Zoe's friend Elizabeth's last name? Foreigner or something? He looks like he might be a cult. But hi! Why are you so sad? Try to cheer him up. I don't know what happened, but someone died! Oh my gosh, console about death. This is such a random PS that we're just at Ophelia's house and like. Oh, he's not. He doesn't want. He doesn't want it. He doesn't want it. Oh my god, look at him. He's flirting with us. Oh! He's cute. Reveal crush? Oh my god, you have a crush on him? Mom, please! Leave me alone. I didn't do that. Okay, that was all hymns. Zang boy, they have natural chemistry, guys. They do. What are his traits? He's a student at Copperdale. He's a slob. Oh no, that does not align with us at all. Great storyteller. What else? She's very happy. All right. Oh my God, it's 3 a.m. Oh shoot. It's 3 a.m. I must be lonely. <laughs> She's sad, baby. Oh my god. Well, I can't help but be scared of it all. Sometimes all the rain's gonna wash away. I believe, man. Well, she had a potion of plentiful need, so I guess it doesn't matter. But let's go ahead and do our homework. Edison, how's your mood? Not very good. Okay, let me give you some potions and plentiful needs as well. Don't do your homework at the seance table. Oh my god, what's wrong with you guys? Both of you, what is this? Zoe's watching the news, and apparently, never been on live television. New post. Let's do some skill building then, shall we? What are you doing? Gaming? Okay, you are a geek, so I guess. If he's a geek and he's creative, I think that maybe like creating a game would be kind of cool. Oh, it's Christmas Eve, so we don't have school today. Yeah, no one has a school or work today. That's pretty cool. Okay, I guess, well, shoot. I guess we need a Christmas tree, eh? You know what would be kind of cute, actually? If we maybe went to like, what if I found like a Christmas cabin on the gallery, like a rental, and we can just go there for two nights, tonight and tomorrow night, and just spend Christmas there and invite the family over there. Because anytime I try to invite the entire family on this lot, my game just kind of freaks out because there's too much on it. I think that would be cute though. Nice change of pace for Christmas. So maybe we can do Mount Kamarebi where we know that it for sure snows. Oh, there's already rentals here. Okay, I can probably like replace one of these with a Christmas rental. So let's search like Christmas 
cabin? Oh, look at this. A festive Christmas cabin is a perfect place for a sim family to spend their holiday away from home. This is the, the size we need by Rubel. Okay, let's give this a shot. It looks pretty cute. Okay, yeah. This is really cute. I love the vibe in here. Super warm, super cozy. There's a decorated tree. I added an undecorated tree so that we can all, uh, you know, decorate together. Yeah, this is quite nice. This would be a lovely place to spend Christmas, I think. Upstairs, there is just like a little game area. Oh my God, how cute. A couple of bedrooms. So adorable. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. So what I think I'm going to do is <laughs> I'm going to wait until next episode to uh, celebrate Christmas. I think what I'll do is I'll have like a little legacy family Christmas special and the entire episode will be here in this cabin and uh, yeah we'll just do like a bunch of cute Christmas things. We can use it as kind of a send off for Zoe and Lamar because they are going to be dying soon. So I think it would be cute to just like just spend some quality family time with them, not have to worry about like skill building or like work or anything, just like cute wholesome family times. <laughs> but thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed it. It felt really good to get back into it. I'm so excited to see where Eddie and Evangeline end up, what their lives are gonna turn out like. It's always like such a, a fun part of each gen is when they're teens. Today's Wednesday, I'll be live tomorrow with my career legacy challenge if you guys are interested. My Twitch link is right here. Otherwise, I will see you guys in my next video, which is either going to be a build video or not so berry. I'm not 100% sure yet, but I'll see you guys then. And if you would like, follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.